Oh, what a people! It's me, it's me, it's Raven the Ellie G, and welcome to another episode of Dragons Rise of Back. And let's get to this. I've got lots of packs to be open today. Uh, you know what? Let's kick it off. I've already opened five packs earlier on, recorded the gameplay for you, so you can check that out right now. So we didn't get anything like amazing. We didn't get anything. Let's let's face it. That kind of that was a bit a bit, a bit lame, all right? I have not sorted out my Burke yet. All right, I haven't sorted this out. You know, still to be done. I just I don't know. I just don't know where to put things. Oh, I will I will at some point sit down and have a real good go at this, but I just keep changing my own damn mind. I should be able to get rid of these trees and rocks soon. I should be able to because uh, I'm going to I'm gonna have to work on the uh, the Viking buildings. Right, so collection is wobbling. So what does that mean? Why are we wobbling? What is up with the wobble? Is there a completed collection? Don't think there is. No? Not sure why we had a wobble going on there. Right, let's look at champions. Right, we've got one, two. Right, so I've got two packs ready to go. Chief pack is nearly there. This one... I could open early, actually. 33. What the hell, let's do it. Right, no, no, no. Oh, I fang hook. I didn't mind a bit of fang hook. Right, screw up. There's only two! Right. Zipple back. I need to get the zipple back bumped up a bit. Um, Alright, let's go for it. Let's go! Come on. So, Bone Napper is leveled up. Uh, triple Strike and Barf and Belch. Again, I'm not really that happy with the combination I've got because Triple Strike and Barf and Belch are very similar. So it almost seems pointless having the two of them. Let's see how it works though. Let's see how it goes. The good thing now with Bone Napper leveling up is that his basic attack is very, very strong. I think it does around 200 damage. Let's have a look now. Let's, let's see what he does. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. So yeah, nearly 200 damage. Alright, time to flame them out. Yeah. We got rid of Fang Hook. Battle Bronco. They're picking on my triple strike. Um, do you want us to do that? Yeah, let's go that way. Yeah, let's do that. All right. You can do that all you want. No problemo. And we're definitely going to overkill. Oh, he's gone. Oh, I want to bring out Barf and Beth with the... <laughs> nope. We only get a plus 10. And we get a plus 10, but we get the silver. What's, what's up with that? I don't get it. I don't get it. I've given up trying to work out if there's any system as to how you get packs. Ugh, right. So let's fill up these last two slots. Open that chief pack. That's it. That's how we're doing it. And yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll have a little look at Burke. We'll have a little look. Let's see what we're going to do with it. Definitely needs to get the builds right. Now, he has a very good lineup. I know that they're not leveled up. But he does have a very good lineup. Right, we are going to pick on his zipple back, I think. Now, 
his zipple back is going to be far ready before ours is, so I'm tempted to use this. Just to stop them. Do you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to... It's not an attack that I use very often, but I'm going to test it out here. The, what I find is the big downside to using this tactic with the Bone Napper is that when they're free to attack, they're guaranteed to already have five bars because they've been saving it up, you know, because they have to. So I'm a bit like, oh, I don't know. We'll see though. But I could do it again. But I'm not sure. You know, I'm doing it again. I don't know if I'm creating enough damage for this tactic to work, but I'm going to try. If we can get rid of one of his before the power runs out, then it might be worth it. And a good thing, of course, is because they're low level, it means they're not really doing a whole lot of damage to us. Right, so uh, Bone Upper is not going to get a chance to freeze them out again. So we are going to get hit big by somebody. Um, should I weaken their defense? Or should I save? You know, I'm going to save. Like I said, we're going to get hit big in a minute anyway. It's, it's, you know, it's going to happen. Because they're both free. Well, he's free. Here we go. Eek. All right. A big hit. Plus he slowed us down. All right. And of course he heals himself. Ooh, there. Triple strike's not going to get shot, but... Uh, Zippleback might. So we might be able to get rid of his triple strike here. Yes. Alright. Okay, I think we've brought back a bit of control now. He'll take out the triple, which is fine. Because we'll get the bar boost. So if we do a single now, it should be a Zippleback knockout. How's that? Boom! That's how we're doing it. Alright! Okay, we're winning these out. We're still that two in a row. Give me that silver. Silver. Gold. Damn it. Do you know I've only had one gold pack? Just the one! I didn't get anything in it. Which was very highly annoying. Come on. Right, one more for the chief, but let's let's fill out that last slot first. Right, give me someone real beastie. We've had a few low levels. Give me like a, a bunch of 15s or something. Give me a bunch of 15s! I'll take some 13s. Alright. Okay. 11, 9, 11. They have another one of those wind gusts. Beast. We're going to take him out. I tell you, it's really weird to come up against someone who's not using a zipple back. Not very often it happens. Alright, he's got the beastie bone napper. I know how that works. So, let's focus on him. Try and inflict as much damage as possible. Wow. I tell you, if the zipple back doesn't get his attack off, I could be in trouble here. much longer. Not a lot longer at all. Right. Let's stick with him. If I can get the triple strike on his max attack, then we're okay. But I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get five bars in that time. And I don't think he's going to survive another go round. It might be worth taking him out just to bring the numbers down. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's bring down the numbers. He's got two very good dragons here. Alright, he's restricted. That's a, that's interesting. Um, right, let's go for him. Very interesting tactic, I think. Oh, I don't know. Of course, we've got reduced damage, which is not helping whatsoever. And a bone napper has no really big attack, so I could restrict them, lower their damage, but then I have to go. All right, let's do it. The problem is now I have to hit him with the single attacks, really. I mean, he is full. He is full health. If I could take out one of them, all right. Let's try this. 
this. Ah. I don't know. I do. I don't think I got enough firepower here. I need to take that thunder drum out though. That's an absolute must. No, it's, it's not going to survive. <sighs> Damn it. That's a shame. We're not going to survive his next attack. Unless he does really stupidly now and uses his max one, but no. Whew. 7,000 trophies, that would have been a big win as well. We would have scored quite a lot there. I'm quite annoyed actually. We, we should have done better. We should have done better. I'm blaming you. You lot. That's what I'm blaming. You jinxed me. Right, come on. Oh, now. I know you feel bad for me. Because I kind of lost. But, you know, a 966? Really? Like, really? Okay. I've not come up against a Toothless in a long time. He is not popular on this game, like, really? Whoa, triple strike. Easy now. Right. Look at that. Two bites of the bone after they're gone. Crazy. Crazy. What a mismatch. She's not even going to get her big attack on me. I do feel bad. I feel a little while. Uh, I do only a little bit. Boom. Done. Another 10 trophies. Or like maybe two. 24. Alright. And another silver. What the hell? Two silvers. Alright. Okay, I'll take the silvers. I'm going to try and get it so I get three silvers. So what I might do is I might open this one try and get another silver. Alright, first off, let's get this chief pack done. Boom, boom. Right. Nightmare's up, but not really much we do with him. Um, open now. Oh, I can't even, can't even do it anyway. Alright, so what I will do is I'll leave these two silvers there for the next video. I'll try and fill the middle slot with another silver, and that's, that's how it's going to go. That's how, that's how it's going to work. Right. I need to show you this guy, Stormcutter. Hatched it uh, earlier on today, I think. Level one, let's just get you up. So yeah, finally got storm car on the island. Um, we are searching at the moment for again something I can't afford to get. I think it's one of the um, torch, torch or his sister or his brother or maybe even torch himself. So that's it at the moment. So I really need to do something with Burke. So yeah, if I make this. Because that was my plan before, was I was going to try and make this area here for my champion dragons. Because you can only fit, even though it looks like quite a big space, you can only fit three dragons there, I think. Alright, picking on the sheep, my bad. Right, so, let's go to the hangar. Right, it says I've got 71 in there. Right, so who do we need? We need a uh, bone napper. That's... Yeah, that's him. Alright, so let's put bone napper on here. Let's stick him up, actually. Let's stick him up in the corner. Alright, so boom. There's bone napper. He's one of our champion dragons. Next! Nope. Next up, who do we have next? Triple strike. Who's... I've not really leveled up that much, to be honest. Where are you, Trips? There's Gust Nudger, huh? Where is he? Where's Triple Strike? Surely I've not gotten that high already. There he is. 22? I didn't realize I'd done that. All right, okay, let's get you on here. Uh, let's, yeah, let's put you back there. And now we got to get the Zipple back. So... The good thing is, having them there, it reminds me I need to level them up. Which is one thing. Right, there you are. Zipple back, place. Let's get on here. Right, so that's the first section of island done. We could fit probably a something Viking-y down here. Let's move one of you down, a little Viking hut. Alright, that'll do. So there, that's one section of the island done. As you can see, all of them need leveling up, feeding. 
And you know what? I've got a lot of fish, so let's get on it. I'm saving the wood out at the moment, so I want to get the Viking buildings done. This is where the fish goes down very fast. Right, so here we go. 62, 24, and 42. I'll slowly build them up. Like I said, I really want to save the wood at the moment. So on that note, let's send them out to get some wood. Yeah, because I want to get the Viking buildings done first, so we're completely uh, caught up on that. Let's see if there's anything I can start even with the small amount of wood I've got there. Upgrade. No, not upgrade Vikings. Right, so I'm going to do two huts for cheap, two weather veins as well. Viking villa is going to cost me 56 million. Crazy. Right, let's do these huts. Three minutes, that's fine. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Like I said, we've got the two silver packs. I'm going to try and get a third. Try it. I'm going to try to get a third. Hopefully a gold one, that'd be awesome. So we'll do that on the next video as well. And I'll make sure I've got a chief pack to go with it. And there we go. So we're slowly building up on the Champions Dragons. We're getting our lineup up. I need to sort out Burke. I'm going to be doing that. I think I'm going to do that this weekend. I think so. I'm going to have a good, good go at getting this all laid out nicely. I like having, all, you know, I like having little sections. So like I said, the champion dragons I like. And when I say champions, I don't mean champions like the triple strike. I mean my lineup that I use for the battles. So this is my lineup. If I change anyone out, I'm going to move them out from in the hangar. But that's it for now. And yeah, that, that's it. That's it. Thank you for watching Revel the Legend and I'll be back with lots of packs because I like the packs. Bye 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 bye.